Society, that's what it actually references, uh, where you know, there's theocracy and people's rights are being stifled. And you actually see this in the other religion, where people are actually you know, constrained, constricted in terms of all kinds of things. But you cannot say Christianity is like that. I know there's those kinds of concerns in particularly the US, but Christianity is not you know, a faith that you know, uh, brings about forced conversion, which is what you find in terms of the other religion. You know, people are conquered and forced to accept, and then it becomes a vicious circle. So that if you are not towing the line, you are going to be fixed. That's why it takes grit to be a Christian, because that is not the environment in which Christianity thrives. Uh, look at the admonition of our Lord in Matthew 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you as a sheep in the midst of wolves, Therefore, be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So basically, uh, in terms of the Christian experience, you know, uh, we are Christianity actually thrives under pressure, you know, so that people are against your faith and you need to hold on to your faith. Uh, Christianity is not the one that is going to be is is not going to be the oppressor that is trying to constrain people. You know, it's a voluntary decision that you take to come to know the Lord. So it's not that you admit still. You know, it's very liberating, but it's a commitment that you need to make by yourself, not that you are forced and like what you find in terms of the other religion. 